Figured I'd make a video since I'm stuck in traffic, waiting to head down south. I want to talk about a few things. We're going to talk about the IRS situation with Coinbase, some great information with Ripple, one of the tokens I want to talk about later on in the series. And I also want to talk to you guys about the CME and what they're going to be doing in December. We'll start with the IRS win slash lost over with Coinbase. Situation with that, Coinbase is saying they won. Honestly, if you really look at it and you really look at what's going on, I think they actually lost. Because the IRS is never ever going to go into a situation wanting something and not get it. When they had asked for this broad spectrum you know, information they wanted, they wanted people's logins, passwords, everything you have to know about the people, they knew they weren't going to get that. But what they really wanted was a foot in the door, which is what they got. So anybody who was with Coinbase, if I remember correctly, between 2013 and 2015 did anything over $20,000 worth of trades, receiving, you know, putting putting out of Coinbase, getting in cash, they're going to have all that information from those people, and then you're going to have to pay taxes on that if you didn't already pay taxes. What this does is open up an opportunity to get more information, because it'll start at 20 grand, and then it's going to say 10, and then 5, and then 4, and then 3 two and then it's gonna be all the way to 20 bucks and you're gonna to have to pay capital gains from there you have to really think about it did they really win honestly I feel like the community lost because this is one step in and once they get in they're insidious they're just gonna keep grabbing and pulling until they get everything they want on some good news ripple a great token this company is trying to make the SWIFT system, the wire transfer system, or the Rustin Union way of doing things much better, much quicker. Hedge funds are going to start investing in them. There's um, a hedge fund now, I can't remember the name of the gentleman who's, who's in charge of it, but they're planning to invest in Ripple. And I think that's gonna be great. Ripple also got a contract with American Express and one of the biggest banks in England, we're moving awesome and I think that's gonna be great for the ripple company because I mean they're already doing a couple I think it's two billion dollars in transactions and that's a pen that's like a drop in the bucket compared to what they can and can actually do worldwide so that's a great token to look at this is not investment advice it's just you know some good information so you can take it so you can take a look at that the next thing is the CME the CME is saying officially that December January they're planning to open up the futures market for B for BTC, which I think will drive the price of BTC up for a little while, and then after a little while of it being in motion, it'll probably bring the prices down. But in the end, I think the, B the BTC the BTC E futures market is going to fail because in the futures market they're they're telling you they're not going to actually give you delivery of BTC, but there's going to be cash settlement, which kind of defeats the purpose because the way that that normally worked. Especially when you use, when you look at the gold and the silver market, is you have the opportunity to take the physical delivery of the commodity. So we'll see how that goes, guys. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to like if you like the content. If you don't like the content, dislike. Go for it. Subscribe if you're new. And thank y'all. Have a good day.